I'm Regina Kapinga. I work for Gates Foundation based in Seattle and uh, I am I have relocated there. This is just a year now since I, I joined. I'm a program officer in the agricultural development program. We have a unit called Science and Technology and that's where I sit. Fortunately, here in Africa, sweet potato is, is a staple food, mainly grown by women whom we want to reach with their children. Mm -hmm. The country we are in right now, uh, the vitamin A deficiency is, it reaches up to 69% of the total population of the children. But at the same time, sweet potato is grown and eaten everywhere. So we are looking at the best way to scale up these activities to ensure that at least mothers can be able to access these varieties and are able to feed uh, the sweet potato roots to their children. Yes, women in Africa, they are the backbone of agriculture. At least that, that one, yeah. So sweet potato is not an exception. But now sweet potato is even more exception because this is not the crop. At the beginning, it wasn't a commercialized crop. And anything which is not commercialized, it's just pushed to women. And so sweet potato has been in Africa as a women's crop. And why? It's because it plays a big role, more especially when maize fails, when rice fails. That is the, the, the crop they run to. Why? Because it is flexible to grow. Very very short duration, within 90 days you have, uh, you, you have your crop and so it is a household food security crop. And the women play a big role in the product, in, in the land clearing the whole way to, 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 to even if it is to be commercialized, it, it is women who are still playing a big role as, com, as, as compared to other, other cash crops or other staples.